or Patrick will have rides next year. Sir Frankenstein asks, will I be doing a sequel to One More Spark which focuses on the 2002 season? Yes, I plan to do One More Spark and it's going to be every single year. So do not worry about that. Alright, I'm going to kind of go a little faster through these because I know there's a lot of comments and I want to try to get through all of them. J Productions 48 asks, do I think, who do I think is the most underrated NASCAR in each series? Ah, uh, let's see. Cup series, uh, whew. I guess it all depends on what your definition of underrated is. Um, truck series, I'd probably say Ryan Truex. I feel like he has a lot of potential. Um, Xfinity series, I would probably say... Uh, da, 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 underrated, underrated. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Cup series, I'd say Matt Absolutely. Cup Series, not to bad, no, no question about it. Um, I don't know if this would be Xfinity Series, but I'd probably say other. I'd probably say Tommy Joe Martins. I feel like he has a lot of potential. He just does his own, like, equipment, if you will. So I feel like if he has his own equipment, I feel like he would do a lot better. Um, but in other words, I'd probably say Ryan Priest. He's a good driver. I just wish he had some good equipment. And by the way, I still think that's so dumb that Ryan Priest bought the ride for both uh, Iowa and, uh, or what was it, New Hampshire, Iowa, and uh, Kentucky. Like, why? You shouldn't have to buy a ride. You should earn it, you know? But no, I guess that makes too much sense, I guess. Craig Boone asks, which of these do I like the most? Ryan Blaney, McMurray, or Casey Kane? Ah, uh, not to be biased, but I'd probably say Ryan Blaney, and it's, just, it's an age thing, because me and him are roughly about the same age. I believe Ryan is just a little bit younger than I am. So I feel like me and him can relate a lot. Plus, I feel like with the hair and little mustache thing I have going, me and him, like, have the same huh, looks, if anything. Um, but yeah, I'd probably say Ryan Blaney, and then if I were to rank him, I'd probably say Ryan Blaney, Mick Murray, and Kane, in that order. And, like, I don't hate Kane, but I would say of those three, that's where I would, like, you know, place all of them. Alright, um, make sure we go right. Zman88 asks, what was my favorite throwback from Darlington? Not to be biased, but probably Dell Jr.'s, um, AC Delco car, because it definitely reminded me of the good old days of 98 and 99 when he drove that AC Delco car. Also that 2 car, that 2 AC Delco car that raced in the early 2000s. I love that car. It was really pretty. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's probably my favorite throwback. Alright, Downess asks, since I mentioned IndyCar, does car IRL split still happen or not happen in OMS? And then he also asked, also for Brands Hatch to reach, would I, words, you should have Colin McRae do a one-off race. For the Colin McRae thing, sure. I have no problems with that. I think I could probably toss him in and do something with that. Um, but then, for car IRL split, I would say yes, just because it has really no effect whatsoever with NASCAR. Like, there's no, like, connections whatsoever, is what I'm saying. So, yeah, the only what-ifs would be in the NASCAR realm only. Um, so yeah, the car and IRL splits and then remerger, if you will, will still happen. Dan Gamer 2003 has, Have I ever went to a NASCAR race in person? If so, what track? If not, which track do I hope to go to? I did, actually. 1999 to 2002, I went to Pipe Speak International Raceway. That's why I keep saying, like, all the time that Pipe Speak should be coming back. They should. Um, and that's just because, like, I had a lot of good history there. It was warm. It was really, like, actually really hot. I would say it was, what, like, 90s, I would say, pretty much every time I went there. But no, the experience was enjoyable. Because I saw, oh, who did I see? Andy Santer get his first win in that 47 car. I also saw, I see Jeff Green win in that NASCAR car. I saw Jeff Purvis win in the 21 car. And then I saw Hank Parker Jr. win in the 36. So it was really, uh, it was a good time. Good times were had by all. Keyboy71 asks, would I ever consider live streaming my, me creating paint schemes slash races for one more spark, similar to how Kamikaze does his? I've thought about that, actually. I have. And the reason... Well, I should say the reason why I thought of it was because, yeah, Kamikaze was an inspiration. But here's the deal. The laptop I'm working on is from 2012. Okay, that was cool. 
Um, yeah, it's from 2012. It's really old. That's why like all the videos you see are in 720, not 1080. It's because it takes forever to render, and that's the reason why part six was split into two parts. I wasn't trying to be like Harry Potter where it's like an epic two-parter or whatever. Like, it's just the video ended up being too long. So my plan is at the end of this year, I'm gonna get a new, better performing laptop where I can do more, and so I can go ahead and download those uh, programs so I can live stream, and I could definitely do that. And I could even maybe like do that as like a way to like you know interact with you guys because I know I'm haven't been much of an interactive guy, and I do want to get into more of that. Uh, I just didn't have don't have the capabilities of doing that. So again, hopefully I can do that, but um, I'm gonna die. Why? Anyway, um, yeah, so that's what I would say about the live stream thing. I hope to do it, but it probably will be not till next year, I would say. Nascar Fan 88 asks, I was thinking that Nadu could promote Fairly Odd Parents for 2002. Sound good? That does sound good, except I already said that Jimmy Neutron was gonna be uh, being promoted next year, and that's just simply because the show did premiere in 2002, and if I were in Nickelodeon's shoes, I would promote the new show. And I did like uh, Jimmy Neutron, too. Like, Jimmy Neutron and Fairly Odd Parents and SpongeBob. Those were, like, my three favorite Nickelodeon shows. The old SpongeBob, I might add. Not a big fan of the new stuff. Does this have Mr. Cramps? He was number one! Oh, gosh darn it. Didn't kill him, of course. Uh, but yeah, that's what I would say about that. No, but don't worry. I will definitely make a fairly odd parents freaking paint scheme. Why, 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 why? Okay, cool. But um, it's going to be a while before I do that. Okay. James Braun asks, who do I think will win the championship? I would probably go ahead and say Matt Kenseth still, just because that's who I predict at the beginning of the season, and I don't want to jump off that train, because I still think he's going to come back. And before he ever goes back to the NASCAR again, he is going to win a title. So, yeah, that's what I would say to that. Sonic John 2444 asks, what is my favorite show on Nickelodeon, and what is my favorite anime movie? I already mentioned the Nickelodeon thing, Jimmy Neutron, Fairly Odd Parents, and Old Spongebob. And then my favorite anime movie, off the top of my head, I'd probably say Toy Story, because it was the first, like, CGI movie I've ever seen. And if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. Like, when I was a little kid, I would purposely, like, have the toys, like, you know, set up. And they'd be like, oh man, they're gonna do weird antics when I'm asleep. But... Nothing really came out of that. It was just my young mind going wild, if you will. <clears throat> Tanner Hart says, Greetings from Canada. I have two questions for you. What do I think about all these driver changes and the new Chevy Camaro we'll see one in 2018? And then, do I think and believe that Dove could make a return to NASCAR or another manufacturer created into the sport, and if so, what make? I think you meant Dodge, because Dove is that soap brand. Uh, so for the manufacturer thing, I said that a few times, and um, what I said... Okay, so I said that um, I could definitely see Dodge coming back. I hope Dodge comes back. Um, and then as I said, I bring in Honda. And then in terms of the Chevy body, um, again, it looks great. I just wish that we would see some good competition out of that. And uh, hello, for, um, hello to Canada as well. I've never been up to Canada. I bet it's nice there, with all the trees. Oh, I bet that would be nice. Tennessee Titans fan asks, do I listen to Core? Some. There are three singles I listen to. Those three be uh, Get Up, Twisted Transistor, and um, Narcissistic Cannibal. I don't really listen to them in full, but like those three are like my favorite songs by Korn. Steve's Dev asks, what would I think if NASCAR were to raise Gen 6, Legend, and Classic Race cars at the same time on the same track? The first thing I think of when I see that question is I think of like Rolex, where like you have the fast cars and the slow cars competing on the same track at the same time. It'd be terrifying, but it'd also be kind of uh, intriguing at the same time. I'd take out a shot, like as an exhibition race or something like that, but like if NASCAR ends up going that, that route, 
I would probably not watch NASCAR again because I think that would be a uh, silly, 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 silly decision. Tim Boggs. Tim, Tim Boggs. How are you doing, Tim? Yeah. Tim, 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 Tim. So I saw you ask me three questions, and they were all related to one more spark. I am going to try to answer your questions and not spoil them. Like, all I'm going to say is I'm going to concern them. Because you, what you did is you brought in some suggestions. They're great. Um, but I'm not going to say, like, yes, those trucks are going to be in, or yes, this driver is going to be in. But what Tim's talking about, first of all, he was talking about more foreign tracks. I am definitely going to consider it, for sure. I'm not going to say which ones, but uh, I will definitely consider it. Um, your second one has to do with, uh, oh yeah, your second one has to do with Alan Kowicki. If um, he will have a second team. No. That will be the only one I'll give you, is no. Alan Kowicki is going to stick to his one car team. And then the third one has to do with Mr. Kerry Earnhardt. I am not going to say anything about Kerry Earnhardt. All I will say is he will absolutely have a part in... Let me rephrase that. I, am I will definitely consider Kerry Earnhardt, for sure. I'm not going to say to what extent he'll be in, but um, I do appreciate your suggestions, Tim. Like, don't think your comments go unnoticed, because they definitely are noticed. I just don't go ahead and be like, oh, bro, that's such a great idea on every single comment. Like, just know that they are noticed, and they are appreciated. Okay. Hey, Brad Austin asks, would I let Pig Racing Network Taylor Frey comment on one of my One More Spark videos? Me. I already talked to him about it on Twitter. I would suggest that you don't worry about it for right now, because I already have a lot going on in my own life, and with this series. So, uh... I do appreciate the suggestion, but again, I will worry about it later. Philip Greenwald asks, who do I think is the greatest NASCAR driver ever? I would probably say Richard Petty, but not just because of the wins, but we also got to consider too is how long he raced in NASCAR, because he was in NASCAR since the 50s, and he didn't retire until 1992. So the fact that he was in the sport and all the wrecks that he had, like at Darlington and at Daytona, he has gone through a lot, and in my opinion, that is the reason why I consider him the greatest driver in NASCAR. Case on Channel 17 asks, could I do one more Star 2002 after 2001? Uh, no, because I wanted to start with 87 and kind of just go from there, if you will. Um, it'd be great to grow into 2002, but I feel like people want to have a little bit of a backlog of why, like, 87 was the way it was. Why did I miss? I don't know. But, yeah. That is the deal with that. And Xavier Quinlan asks, what are my plans for 1987 One More Spark? I think I mentioned it before, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and do, like, one race at a time. And I'm also very serious about adding the Bush series as well. Which I think would be great, because the Bush series, like, because it would add the whole, like, developmental side, it'd be like, oh, we'll just assume that Blaze Alexander did great. We want to, like, I want to, like, show and be like, yeah, these drivers are great, that's why they should go up to the Cup Series. And then also, uh, add and prove to the point that, like, you know, we don't need Cup drivers in those, uh, lower divisions. So... And so, as I said, we'll do it, like, one video at a time, so they're not as long. Alright. Getting to the end, hopefully. Ian White asks, what songs do did I use in One More Spark? And what if Dale Hart was still alive? But I'll link them somewhere. I don't know them off the top of my head, but I'll go ahead and put them right in front of my screen right now. Also, if you go to part 6 um, of One More Spark, I did say all the songs for there, like, the, the heavy song. I actually did have it, like, I... 15 seconds in. So I would definitely suggest you check that out. And then, um, as I said, the rest of them are in front of the screen right now. Western Caves asks, what happened to Rodney Orr <clears throat> in One More Spark? Um, he will be in One More Spark still. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to say to what extent, because, you know, spoilers. But um, I would definitely go ahead and say that he will have a part. So many dogs. Is that it? Nope. Um, 
Okay. And as Racing asks, do I think that Kyle Larson is the next Jeff Gordon, Tony Stewart, or maybe Jimmy Johnson? I'd say so. Kyle Larson, like, he definitely has what it takes. Um, I just wish and hope that people support him and they don't, like, disgrace him for, you know, winning so much. Kind of like what I did with uh, Jimmy Johnson. And I apologize for that because that's totally hypocritical. But, um, yeah, Kyle Larson, I think, is a great guy, great dirt racer. And I hope, I hope he can get the support and popularity that he does of the greats of Jeff Gordon, Tony Stewart, and Jimmy Johnson. Um, Ninja Warrior Robbins, you did, or I did answer this question, but what are my thoughts on Patrick not being with Storehouse Racing? It's a shame. I really hope he does find a full-time ride. I hope he finds a full-time ride, um, or she, yeah. I hope she finds a full-time ride, um, that'd be great if she can, um, I don't know if she can, but it's just the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. All right. The car guy asks, should Darrell Wallace Jr. not go for the 43 next season? Or could I see a driver like Michael McDowell headed there? I hope Wallace goes there. Like, honestly, I'm just looking for him to have a full-time ride. Because he is such a great opportunity not to pass up. I could see Michael McDowell going there, but I think he's going to go over to front row racing. That's kind of my hope and thinking. So that's what I would say about that. Please don't kill me. Y'all are the best. Alright. Um, R2 Gaming asks, would, would what if Adam Penny didn't die be good? I hope it'd be good, but I'm working on one more spark, which is kind of like what if Adam Penny was still alive. But if you haven't already, check out Kamikaze's channel. He did like a 45 minute video on how what he would think what Adam Petty being alive would be like. I would definitely suggest you take it. It's definitely a nice in-depth look at it. Um, yeah. I would definitely say you should check that out. Coda Sherman asks, what happened to Grip Dog's Diecast of the Week? Um, because I was focused on other work and then also One More Spark, I just didn't have time or energy to do One More Spark. I am not going to go ahead and get the sale. I really don't need the fire sale. Um, yeah. Now again, like if I had more time and opportunities, I would definitely return the Night Castle of the Week. But um, as of right now, I'm putting that to the side. However, that is something I would eventually like to bring back. Ooh, Carpenter. I'll take that. Alright. So, what else? What else do you guys got? Baintree21 asks, as a growing YouTuber myself, what recording software do I use? So, <clears throat> for that one, so for the face cam, I use a GoPro. For the gameplay footage, I use uh, my Canon camera, Canon 60D. Um, what else? Okay, I can sit for a couple minutes. Um, and then for the games, I use uh, Fraps. That's my software of choice. YoshiFan61 asks my thoughts on the Ampelidia Storehouse Racing. Unfortunately, I answered that one already, and it's a shame. I really hope Dan Kirkpatrick finds a ride, but I don't know if that's going to happen. I will take this. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I really hope Dan does find a ride eventually. The Brennator. What's up, Brennator? You asked, with Leo Byron leaving JMS, who do, you th who do I think will take over the 9 car, and who do I want to take over the 9 car? I think Tyler Reddick is taking over the 9 car, because it's already been announced. But if I want anybody to be in that 9 car... Oh, shoot. I'm dead. I'm not dead. I'm alive. Surely alive. I'm not dead. I'm surely alive. Sorry. Um, if there's anyone I want to have in that car... Actually, I kind of want Dale Jr. himself to be in that car. Instead of being number 9, he'd be in number 8. Um, that'd be cool. I doubt that'll happen just because of his concussions and whatnot. But, again, I think it'd be kind of cool. Um, but Darrell Wallace Jr. would be another option, too. Like, if it doesn't work out over at uh, Petty Water Sports, I think it'd be cool to see him. And for a sponsorship, sponsorship always helps. Uh, but yeah, that's what I would say about that.
Okay, so these last ones are going to be rapid fire just because I'm running out of uh, space. And this has been a long video, so I'm going to try to kind of rapid fire these. So, what if Russell, Russell Phillips was still alive? He was the one who passed away in that crash in 1995. He'll still be alive, don't worry about that. But I'm not going to spoil anything on uh, what happens to him. Just don't worry about him. Mr. Crowbush one asks, what is going to happen with Jimmy Johnson, considering Casey King, or Casey King, Casey Atwood is going to go over to the other available Hendrick ride, and Tim Steele has number 48. So like the Russell Phillips thing, don't worry about it. Johnson will have still a part in NASCAR. But one of the big what ifs I'm going to hit on as well will be, um, what if Jeff Gordon never sought out the Jimmy Johnson? So Johnson will still have a part in NASCAR, but since Jeff Gordon never, like, sought after him, uh, that would not, or I would, it would be a different path. So that's what's going to happen there. Mustafa Sumo Jr. asks, what is my opinion on Elliot going to the 9 and William Byron going to the 24? I think it's great. I'm really glad that Chase Elliott was able to drive his father's number. It, and 9, I feel like, is a really big part of NASCAR. I'm really glad he brought it back. Uh, it's really interesting that William Byron has 24. I kind of wish when he goes into the Cup Series, he has his own identity. Like, he has his own number that he can start with. Because remember, when Jeff Gordon started, like, there was no big driver guy, at least I could think off the top of my head, that had number 24. So I kind of wish William Byron had, like, his own footing, if you will. Kind of like with Chase Elliott, too, even though, like, he wanted number nine. But with, uh, you know, 24, like, I wish William Byron had, like, I wouldn't say a new number, but, like, I don't know, just something else that he would consider, like, his own. But otherwise, I think it's great. It'll be interesting to see the Liberty University number 24 car. It'll be interesting to see what that looks like. 2020 NASCAR Establishment Series asked, do I enjoy my job? Yeah, it can get long at times because it is eight hour work days and I work 40 hours a week. And then I work at the news station on the weekends. So I work a total of 50 hours. So I can get tiring. And that's kind of the reason why I'm only doing one more spark here. And then um, I think I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna let the zombies take me in. I know I can keep going, but i will also almost done with this video. So. Paul Minnick asked, my girlfriend and I have our one year anniversary in October, but I want to get her a special gift. Any good ideas? Experience. Like, honestly, not experience, but like, taking her out on like a date or a movie or something like that. Like, I think she'll remember a good time versus like a specific object. Because, I mean, flowers are great, but they eventually die, you know? But memories never fade away. Not to get philosophical, but that's kind of the way I see it. Why did that happen? Anyway. So anyway, congrats on your anniversary, dude, and hopefully your date or whatever you do ends up working well. I hate Carl Larson owns you as one of my thoughts on King leaving. Oh, don't do that. Uh, <clears throat> King leaving um, Hendrick kind of sucks, but at the same time, I feel like it's a good opportunity for him to try something new. Um, Cole Hankinator asks, other than NASCAR, what is my favorite sport? Football. I prefer college football over the NFL, but if I have a favorite NFL team, I would say the Packers, which I'm wearing right here. Um, and in like college football, I got the Wisconsin Badgers. Even though I never went to the University of Wisconsin, that's my favorite D1 college football team. Um, yeah, and I used to be a football player myself in high school. I almost did it in college, but just because of time, I never did. Which is great, though, because I probably would never have found my fitting in the media area if I did football. Uh, so many people... Okay. World NASCAR Champions asks, Is college hard? The schoolwork side of it can be, but it all depends on where your passion lies. Because if you find your passion quick, then it won't seem like work. But if you don't know what you're doing, you'll find some hard spots. But just note that it, it will make for a better future. All right. Maple Boy asks, my birthday is tomorrow. Well, a few days ago when your video comes up, how do I celebrate my birthday? I'm an introvert. I don't like going out. I don't like partying. I'm kind of honestly doing this. Playing Call of Duty, playing low, enjoying cake, maybe sp maybe spoiling myself with a few gifts to me, from me. Um, That's kind of the way how I go about it. And then uh, two more. 
481824 Boss Motion has who is my favorite Xfinity Truck Series driver. Favorite Xfinity driver, uh, I'd probably say Elliot Seiler right now, off the top of my head. And a favorite truck driver, I would say Chase Briscoe. But of course, both of those could definitely change. But for right now, I'd say those two. And then the last one, Lowe's 48 Fan S. Besides Junior, who is my favorite driver? As I said literally at the beginning of this video, it's Kyle Larson. But if you can convince me otherwise, go for it. Alright. So that is it for questions. I'll go ahead and finish this round. And then I'll go ahead and literally die. Yeah, I'm sorry if the gameplay is kind of boring. Like, I've played zombies for a while, and I could keep going if I want to, but I also know I can only have so much space for a camera, and also time so I can work on this so I can get this up on Sunday night, which is, I think, when you will be able to see this. Pew, 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 pew. So, yeah, I guess just some final thoughts here um, before I wrap up and, you know, die. So, as I mentioned, Star Showdown is cancelled. Like, I'm not going to focus on that right now. If I wasn't so busy with other work, I would definitely go ahead and do something with that. And uh, if you guys were curious, I'll... That's fine. I'll say it. So, my plan was for um, the Summer Showdown was... It was going to be kind of like a campaign to bring back IRP. I was going to do the NXS 17 mod, and I would have a huge like race, like 80 cars entered. I'd have several new paint schemes, um, and like, it, I'll go back to just having like heats and mains, none of the Survivor Series stuff. Um, but yeah, that's what I would do for that. But honestly, it's just too much work, and honestly, that would just honestly wear me out. So, I'm sorry that that is not coming to fruition, but that's just the way it is. Also, as I mentioned, 1987 will be next, but one thing I am going to do that's different, no fire cell, one thing I am going to do that is different is that I am going to record all the footage beforehand. So unfortunately, you're not going to see anything for one more spark for, I would probably say, two months. But that's just because I want to get everything set beforehand so that once it starts, there won't be any delays until we get to the end of the year. Um, and then the last thing, kind of like for right now, as you know, like honestly the only project I've been working on is One More Spark. It's kind of like my thing, if you will. Like it is my passion. Like it's something that I've made lists for my entire life and now I finally have the resources necessary to go ahead and create um, this series. And again, I want to take this slow simply because I want to make sure, I want to make dang sure that I can find a zombie. There you are. Die, zombie. What? Come on. Just come on. Come on. Thank you. All right. 24. I think 24 is a good round to end on. But, um, so yeah, I definitely think one more spark is what, it's what I want to do. And so I'm still working 50 hours a week, so time is not of the essence, but I'm still about quality. So, that's kind of where I lie. And then the last thing, too, kind of the thing I got last night. Ricky's sitting house, or here. Let me just watch it and die. Yeehaw. And then, come here, my brethren. Yeah! There you go, so 24 rounds. Alright, so now I'm gonna go ahead and zoom on into myself. So I got this car, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. I got him last night. Beautiful car, I love it. I love the small spoiler, it's great. So, that is it for the Q&A session. I'll still be active on social media. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, I'll still do the Q&As once a month. The next one probably will not be until I would probably say October of Halloween will be the next Q&A session. Um, but I'll give like updates on how I'm going with uh, One More Spark. And I know you guys really want stuff like fast and immediate, but I care about quality. And I think quality is a big part. So, 
that is all I'm going to say on that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys kind of understand where I'm at right now. And as always, I do appreciate the support. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you next time.